Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Ghost and today we're taking a look at Tier 7 Hippers Are You a Wanker video. Um, so I was um, just getting back from work. I got back from work about an hour ago. I come home and I'm just sitting at home, you know, relaxing, watching some videos and I, this one pops up and it was actually a Jankonomics video that popped up. And apparently Hipper is going off again about some stupid, you know, takes. I'm just going to say it how it is. This community is a joke, okay? Like, honestly, the reason why I just haven't been posting, and I just it's because I lost interest in this game a while ago, okay? Like, my interest is not at a all-time high anymore. I have plenty of other better things to do. But um, I still do pay attention to what goes on in the community and see what stupidity goes on. And there's still stupid shit going on in the community. And I just thought I would come on here and cover it. So before we cover that, um, let's take a look at what he, Tier 7 Hipper has been doing the past, you know, I don't know how long. So um, it looks like his past videos, uh, recently he's been uploading a bit more Legends. It seems like his other videos, um, like this, he's been posting a lot of mobile games like Sea of Conquest and and just, just, just some weird games. And he's actually been doing pretty good in the view viewership wise. And I think, didn't he say that he's, like, kind of done with Legends? Like, I think we covered Tier 7 Hipper a while ago, didn't we? Um, didn't he say he was done or something? I don't even remember. Um, I don't even remember. What has he been doing? Yeah, he's been doing a lot of other things um, but Legends. So, um, just a bunch of random content here. Um, on completely different games, but mainly a uh, naval game. So um, Now it looks like he's come back again He started posting some videos and it looks like he's posted a video called are you a wanker? So we're gonna look at this and see what he has to say about You being a wanker in case you guys don't know what a wanker is. It's basically like you being a fucker in European terms, I guess, you know Europeans are already weird. So it's another weird term. Uh, it's just a derogatory term, I guess. But who fucking cares? Let's just watch. Hey all, Hiba here. Now, uh, nobody wants to be a wanker, right? But there's a lot of them in Legends. And uh, if you want to get the nod of approval for me in standard... I don't want your nod of approval. I don't want... I don't care about anybody's nod of approval, okay? Like, it's a ship game. That's all it's ever going to be. Okay, it's a boat game. Who fucking cares anymore? At this point, like, y'all should just throw your care out of the window. Like, throw it out the window. I've been playing the game for five years. People need to just sit back and just accept the game for what it is. It's going to be an unbalanced ship game. It's just a ship game, guys. That's all it'll ever be. So, when overpowered ships get added, get mad about it, get sad about it, happy about it, whatever. Share your opinions about it. But it, it doesn't matter at this point. Because at the end of the day, Wargaming is going to always do stupid stuff. They're always going to add unbalanced ships to the game so i don't know that battles then there's a few rules you have to abide by there's no rules when it comes to battles just the only thing that i have problems with with players and battles um is when they just waste time like if the game's about to end and there's like seven friendly ships and there's only like one destroyer left and they're just running around wasting time and not getting spotted in the game that's like the only major problem i have with now i do get salty occasionally from time to time like 99 percent of the player base like for example shimikaze players and shit and and there's some ships out there that really drive me crazy but i occasionally play them myself like not not japanese torpedo boats but you know like ships like mine ships like Ochakovs, you know those broken pretty pretty overpowered ships i even play them occasionally okay um like i said it's a ship game we're gonna do what we can do to grind and earn credits and shit so we can buy new stuff like do you think i'm gonna play a mediocre tier 7 premium no i'm gonna play my best tier 7 premiums to earn money because like everybody else will i spent 70 80 dollars on a tier 7 premium ship you bet your ass i'm gonna play it and get most of the value out of it that's literally what Wargaming does. They release really powerful premiums for you to buy on purpose, right? Otherwise, win or lose, I'm going to look at you like this and uh, for many years in the future. So uh, first of all, don't play wanker ships. Yeah, don't play wanker ships. Um... 
So uh, by wanker ships, I mean very powerful, usually premium ships uh, that has hard carry abilities. And uh... so he's telling everybody basically not to play overpowered, really strong meta ships like Wichita's, like Udachi's, like ships like uh, Mines's, and Ocho you, you know you all, you know them, right? He's basically telling you don't play them. No, no, people are gonna play them. They spent their hard-earned money on them. They're gonna play them. They're powerful. It only makes sense to play them. It's an easy way of earning quick credits and cash and whatnot. Who cares? Like... It really shouldn't be in the game at all, and I wonder... That's a wargaming problem. Don't get mad at the people out there for playing ships that they bought that are pretty busted. Get mad at wargaming. Don't get mad at the players. The players are just taking advantage of wargaming stupidity. Everybody does it. I play pretty fucking stupid busted ships. If I want to come on and have a good time, I'm not going to play ships like Zara. I'm not going to play ships like, I don't know, um, what's some pretty underwhelming tier 7s and shit. I'm not going to play underwhelming ships, okay? I'm going to play strong ships because I like to have an impact, you know, in on the battle. I like to do a lot of things and just fuck shit up and earn a lot of money and, and, and shit like that because I spent all this money in the game. I want to get the most out of it. I'm going to play all my premiums that I like. If they're overpowered, okay, cool. More fun for me. Again, I'm just taking advantage of what Wargaming has done. Don't get mad at me. I spent $70, $80 on a ship. Just because it's broken doesn't mean I'm not going to play it. Come on. One of the Give me first a ones was the original Wichita. Now, this is definitely a wanker ship. So you're a wanker for playing the Wichita. Okay, cool. And you're a wanker for making this video. So uh, next up, we have the Udachi. I mean, I I get annoyed when I see Udachi players. I get annoyed, like they're annoying to fight. But can I, at the end of the day, deep down, can I blame them for playing that? You know, no. It's a really powerful, stealthy torpedo boat. Am I going to go make a video and say how that player is such a piece of shit for playing that destroyer? No. They're just taking advantage of of a really powerful ship in the game, just like everybody else. Everybody else is going to play really powerful ships because they're powerful. They get an advantage. Any advantage you can get in this game, you're going to take it. You're going to take any advantage you can get. If there's a really busted premium ship at tier 7, you're probably going to play that busted premium ship because it gives you an advantage in battle. It helps you out. It's common sense. It's, it's a fucking... Uh, it's a ship MMO. I mean... Why? Uh, uh, this <laughs> is not so powerful anymore, but it's still on my list because when it came out, uh, there was just no end to uh, the battleship. At this point, sunk. at this point, tier seven hipper, he's just bored. He's just making videos like this because he's bored. Like, who cares? You know how many? You know how long people have been playing overpowered ships? Tier seven hipper himself has been playing these overpowered ships. Okay, don't let it. Don't let him fool you. He's got millions of XP in some of these ships that he's going to show off. You can say the battleship players are crap, but uh, in any case, this is still a wanker ship. Now, an even bigger wanker ship is the Shima. Now, uh, this is for... Like, don't get me wrong, I hate the Shimakaze. I absolutely despise of it. But at the end of the day, I can understand why people play. It's a super fucking annoying, powerful ship. So yeah, I get a little angry. I get salty about it, but everybody else does. It's nothing new. I'm not going to go out of my way to message that player and tell them how they're such a wanker. I'm not going to go make a video about how that person is such a wanker and how they should just... No. No. I'll make jokes about it, you know what I mean? I'll go on, you know, I'll, I'll come on and, you know, maybe crack a few jokes and whatnot. But I'm not going to go out of my way and seriously, like, belittle them and, you know, whatnot. No, it's whatever, man. Like, I don't like the ship at all, but some people do like it because, again... It's powerful. It gets the fucking job done. It's a ship game, guys. Free to play. You're going to do whatever you can do to get an advantage. That's how it's always been. This is fucking wargaming we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen. For, you know, players who, who can't play the game, basically. They pump out torpedoes and then, uh, you know, yeah. they hope to hit something. Yeah. And if experienced players play Duh. that, that's just ridiculous. My if experienced players play it, it's just ridiculous. I mean, 
Yeah, I don't like watching Shimakaze gameplay personally, but if people like that kind of thing, just going around, just popping a joint, and just sitting there shitting out torpedoes, whatever. That's their choice. It's a ship game, guys, at the end of the day. Play whatever you want. At this point, the game is a joke. Like, don't take it seriously like Hipper is right now, or whatever he's doing. I mean, look, at even in the Mine CE, he's got 500,000 Elite XP in the Mine CE. He's got 62,000 Elite XP in the Shimakaze. He's played these ships, guys. Look in the top left. He's played Udachi. He's got 58,000 Elite XP. Wichita CE. He's got 3.1 million Elite XP in the Wichita, and he's telling people not to play it. You're such a fucking hypocrite, dude. Give me a break. Give me a... You're just bored, dude. You've got 3.1 million Elite XP in your Wichita, and you're going around telling people not to play it. Give me a break. Get off the crack pipe. God. Same thing with Weimar. He's got 11,000. Well, not a million at least. John Bart. He's got almost 400,000 Elite XP in the John Bart. What's next? AL Montepillier. He's got almost 200,000 Elite XP in that. Bro, you're telling people not to play these ships, and yet you play them yourself. Give me a break, dude. It's pretty much the same ship. That is an awful ship, and uh, I see so many experienced players play this ship here. Including yourself, because you got 200,000 Elite XP in it. Worcester. I mean, I don't play Worcester that much, personally, because it's a legendary tier, but... Uh, you got 1.1 million Elite XP in your Des Moines. Let's see what you have to say about that. And uh, sorry, Aaron, but uh, Des Moines is also on the list. It's not as bad as the other ships, but it is still definitely a wanker ship. That, uh... So you're a wanker, too, because you got 1.1 million Elite XP in it. Okay. What else uh, you gotta I say? I despise seeing in battle. Because... You despise seeing the Des Moines in battle, and yet you fucking have one... You at least got like 500 battles in your Des Moines. And you're telling people that they're wankers for playing it, and yet you have like 1.1 million Elite XP in your fucking Des Moines? Hipper. Hipper, get off the crack pipe, my guy. Okay? Get off the crack pipe. Jesus. Because, yeah. You're a hypocrite. Well, you know why. All right, next up we have the Suzuya. You've got 100,000 Elite XP in your Suzuya. You've clearly played it quite a few times, and you're telling people to not play it. And uh, this is quite a bit of a wanker ship. It's not the highest on the scale, probably around medium, but if you like... I guess we're all fuckers, guys. I guess we're all wankers, because we've all fucking played these ships. If you have them, you're going to play them, because they're really strong. You earn credits easily with them. They're fun. It gets the job done. Any advantage you can get in World of Warships Legends, you're gonna fucking take it. So, what else does he say? Let's see. A.L. Chappie. He doesn't even play it. He's got zero XP in it. But I'm guessing he says, yeah, you're a wanker for playing that too. And he's got some stuff to say about um, this stuff over here. Let's watch this. There's a lot of other ships that almost hit the mark, but uh, I haven't included them in the video. All right, so uh, the next rule, then uh, breaking that makes you a level two wanker, is uh, do not play divisions in standard battles. Now, uh, don't play divisions in standard battles, bro. This is the same guy that said a few months ago, about a year ago, that if you play divisions in standard battles, you guarantee a win. You know, I've played with my friends, Simpin and Narwhal, for example, we were just playing the other day, and we were playing, and we would lose every other game. We, we are veteran players at the game. We've all got around almost a thousand days, at least, of playtime in total together. And we've all been playing for about four to five years. And we still lose games quite a bit, despite us having a three-man division. Three-man divisions are not as fucking influential as some people think, especially when RNG is mixing together and all this other shit. You guys know the problems with World of Warships Legends. It's been around forever. Okay? There's always There always has been three-man divisions. People are going to take any advantage. Again, like I said, it's going back to what I said before. Any advantage that you can get in World of Warships Legends, you're going to take it. So if you can... I always encourage people to fucking squad up in this game. Division up. If you can get some friends, it makes the experience a lot better. It makes it more enjoyable. If you're a solo player and you don't have any friends, that's a you problem. Go make some friends and join in on the fun. Just saying. But 
it makes you a bad person. It makes you a wanker. Quite frankly, a fucker, basically. It makes you a fucker for playing in Divisions. That's, a, that's stupid. It's an ability you have in-game. Wargaming gives you the option to play in a Division. It's a part of the video game. It's a part. It's a mechanic in the video game. Wargaming encourages you to play with your team. Get some friends. Have some divisions. Play with your fleet mates. Wargaming encourages you to do that. It's a part of the fucking game. And you're going to tell people not to do it? Give me a break. This has always been a pet peeve of mine. And Yeah, because you're a fucking solo loser. Okay. Honestly... Anyone who does it is uh, just pathetic. It's Oh, so I'm pathetic. Okay. Yeah, fuck you too, Hipper. Got it. So I'm just not going to watch any more of this brain rot. Um, yeah, that's enough for me, though, on that whole topic. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about that whole situation. I think it's just pathetic of him. To even just It's another one of his videos. He's bored, so he's posting just nothing but brain rot, right? We already know that. So I just thought I'd come on here and cover it because... Those kind of videos just tick me off. I mean, you're wasting your time. It's a part of the game. Divisions are a part of the game. They've been a part of the game for since it came out. Strong, overpowered ships have been a part of the game, and people are always going to play them and take advantage of them because it's been a part of wargaming and every fucking game they've ever released. There's always going to be some powerful ships and vehicles out there that you're going to play on any of these wargaming titles. It's, it's a fucking MMO. You're going to do anything in your power to get an advantage. It's just... It's how video games work. It's a game, guys. Like, fuck. This is such a stupid... Um, yeah. So I just thought I'd come on here and show that off. Um, Hipper. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing, my guy. I don't know what you're doing. But, <laughs> okay. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Thank you guys for the support, by the way, lately. We're almost at 5,000 subs, so... Hit the sub button if you guys did enjoy today's video. Me calling out Hipper, I guess. I mean, I've had some... I've had some opinions about the guy in the past... But I'm a lot more vocal now about it because, well, I'm not trying to go for a uh, for CC anymore. So I can be as critical as I want now about anything. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great one, everybody. Enjoy the rest of the update. Enjoy the game. I haven't been playing it as much lately. But, yeah. I hope you guys have fun. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Is Hipper right? Do you agree with what he has to, what he has to say? Because I don't. Um, yeah. Anyway, I, I also I will mention, I think most of you guys have common sense, but don't go over there and send hate. Okay? Like, don't go over there and on my behalf and say, you're a fucking idiot. Dr. Ghost Games hates you or some shit. Don't, don't go over there and put words in, you know... Yeah, you know what I mean? Don't put words in my mouth and go spread that shit around. Okay? Just saying. Um, but anyway. Yeah! I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs> God damn, dude. This community's crazy. Woo!